this is a tech freak mv and i'm again back with the video now in this video i'm going to review the slim rom and this is for redmi 2 and redmi 2 prime so either you install on redmi 2 or redmi 2 prime so there's no worry about it now now coming on the rom rom is sort of okay and also it's a first build i don't know why they have bring the nougat build for redmi 2 because a lot of ROM developers are working and focusing on the Oreo but um, but a huge respect to the developer because he's he made him, he's making a lot of a lot of nougat ROMs for Redmi 2 right now and this is um, maybe I'm not sure but the developer is Ajit and he make almost not he made almost four ROMs for Redmi 2 right now and all based on nougat I don't know how much ROM is going to create, but yes, he's working really hard, and uh, I'm really glad to see that there are still a lot of develop developers are there who are working really hard to bring some good Android experience for Redmi 2, and this is one of them. Now, in this ROM, the Volti works as you can see from the status bar. There's a Volti icon, and a lot of people like the Volti icon, and. Uh, there is some sort of a uh, little bit issue but one of the biggest issue which i trigger right now is the developer option they won't open and uh, you can see it stuck screen stuck a lot and uh, that's the biggest problem which i trigger and also there's no messaging app they are only almost six to seven apps which are which are in pre-installed either there's no application and i don't know there's no messaging application which is very weird to see in a, in a ROM but yes you get nothing in this ROM I would say so you can install your favorite apps on your own and uh, a, this is the slim launcher this is not launcher 3 and whatnot this is the slim launcher you get some customization of it and some cool wallpaper, wallpapers with this ROM and also it comes with the snapdragon camera and it gives you a lot of filters and features with it also coming with the equalizer so you can just set your vo volume or effects by your own and uh, there's a snapdragon gallery is also there i haven't installed much application because i'm just uh, want to see the battery life and battery life is sort of okay uh, not the best in class but yes acceptable and uh, can be used as a daily driver and if you use uh, if you want to use a simple rom with zero bloatwares so this rom is amazing for you but yes um i'm not so positive about this rom i don't know if it's going to update the developer has said that they are going to update it but um let's see so if you like a rom which has zero features it has no features i would say except the navigation bars you can enable it by your own and also customize it by your own and uh, next is the interface interface means just edit the status bar and the recent panels get the omni recent panel like this which is very common in a lot of roms and uh, there's nothing also developer options not working i show you la in previous so it's not working properly even it's not working it's not opening i'm going to again show you it's not opening you can see that's a big problem i would say and developers should look at this and also the sound and a lot of people ask me on the cypher os a rom review they have said how's the sound quality so i haven't tested this uh, rom with listening songs and playing songs but yes in custom custom roms you cannot expect good voice because coding is limited to an extent you can install some mods or something else to stabilize the rom or clear the quality but yes if you want a good quality sound rom go with the paranoid rom it has the amazing sound quality and get amazing quality sound quality on earphones so it's amazing it's loud and clear 
सो इफ यू आर लुकिंग फॉर आ साउंड सेंटेक रॉम सो पैरानोइड रॉम इज अ रिकमेंडेशन सो दैट सेट विद दिस रॉम एंड इफ यू हैव एनी क्वेश्चन जस्ट कॉमेंट ऑन लो फॉर दिस क्वेश्चन फॉर दिस रॉम एंड ऑल्सो फॉर एनी अदर थिंग सो जस्ट जस्ट कॉमेंट ऑन लो एंड आई वी बी आंसरिंग टू ऑल द क्वेश्चन थैंक्स फॉर वॉचिंग दिस इज मानिक्रम साइनिंग ऑफ